I still get that. Like people are like, I'm not sitting in the front row at your show. And I'm like, no, 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 don't worry. I only roast volunteers. You're not going to be a sitting duck at my shows. Is that true? When I do my shows, I'll do my proper act, whatever I'm working on for 30 or 40 minutes. And then I'll say, all right, I need volunteers. Who wants to come up here and get roasted? House lights go on, people stand up, you know, and I'll say like, Anybody pregnant or disabled, raise your hand. And if people try to point to other people, I, I don't take that. Right, That's right. bullying. I go, it's got to be volunteers. And that way, I don't get slapped at the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Which, by the way, is considered an honor now. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe we lost Gilbert, Saget, and Will Smith in the same year? <laughs> I mean, gone but not forgotten. <laughs> okay, so here's, I want to get your take on this because I was um, I was in New York the week Mulaney was hosting SNL and he asked me uh, to come by the Comedy Cellar and check out his, what he was going to do for his monologue. So I went by and Chris Rock was there. I talked to him for a bit and then Chris went up. This might have been a week and a half before the famous slap. Right. But I saw him deal with a heckler mm. in the audience. And I thought, wow, that was interesting. I was there, you know, it, I think it was a kind of a very PC person in the crowd. He went, oh, I don't know about that. And Chris was like, mm. excuse me, you don't get to weigh in on what I'm doing. And <laughs> it was really fun to see. But then to see a week later, you'd think, well, that might happen at a comedy club in Manhattan. But now he's doing the Oscars, he's safe. And the idea that a week later he was on stage getting slapped by one of the biggest A-listers was absolutely stunning and something I still can't believe happened. I was in Atlanta, I had just come off stage um, watching it on TV. And I, I'm gonna be sincere here, I, 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 I welled up, my eyes welled up. It was my, my hero, one of my heroes, Chris Rock, arguably <clears throat> my favorite comedian getting slapped over a roast joke. So right. I saw my whole world and I- uh, And a throwaway joke, nothing that in, in the- Well, the joke's on Jada because yeah, yeah. I have alopecia and I'm starring in G.I. Jane too. <laughs> <laughs> but it was something, it was something that but do I, I slap you? No, I don't. Well, it, it really showed me, and, and I've always been preaching like, take a joke, have thick skin. That's been my mantra for years since I've been doing the roast. And roast can be very healing. And I get a lot of people with disabilities. I get a lot of just, it's normalized. Roasting is normalizing things that aren't necessarily normal. Maybe not the celebrity roast, but like the roasting I do in nightclubs and in theaters and stuff. And I, I, I got alopecia like six or seven years ago and I did everything I could to cover it up. You know, mm -hmm. my hair fell out in a course of a few weeks mm -hmm. and I thought I was dying. I was seeing specialists. I didn't know what it was. It took a long time to figure out. And you know, uh, my eyebrows look fucked up sometimes and this and that. And I was embarrassed because I, I had this big Jew fro and I had jokes about it. And I said, you know, I'll, I'll pretend it's a summer look and I'm going on tour mm -hmm, and I'll, mm -hmm. and when I saw that woman not take that joke, when she could have easily normalized it for hundreds of thousands of kids all over the world watching this beautiful movie star on TV mm -hmm. be a bad sport about something she could e easily have laughed about. Even if it hurt inside, she could have. And to me, it, it forced me to to talk about it. I was talking about it on stage. I talked about it on, on, on the internet the next day because it really, it, I knew that it was hurting other people who might have that. It's mostly kids. Like imagine being a, a my, 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 my doctor, Brett King at Yale, he's a mm -hmm. research doctor, and he told me about that he had read about a girl who was 12 years old who had to wear a wig to school, and the kids bullied her, and they pulled her wig off, and she freaking killed herself. Mm. So to me, anything you can do to normalize it and, and own it, I guess, and learn to live with it and channel your inner rock star, which for me is Pitbull, um, <laughs> if he got attacked by a pit bull, uh, is a, what we Jews call a mitzvah. Mm -hmm. And not that I'm trying to be, listen, I, I, I'm sure, uh, no doubt for a woman, it's very traumatizing, but she, Jada had talked about it mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. publicly that for, 
it made me think that it wasn't the alopecia that was bothering her, that maybe she had some history with Chris Rock. Yeah. Uh, th- to me, not knowing anything, it felt like there's something else happening here. And also, it's a weird pool shot because it's not her storming the stage. It's her signaling to her husband who then goes into what looked to me like a character. Mm. Like he he reset and became this person who I'm now going to go kick ass. And you think... I don't know, I've met Will Smith a bunch of times. He's a, he, That's not who he is, that he went into character. It all felt very Somebody strange Somebody told to me. me that is who he is, <clears throat> and we've been watching a character for 20 years. So I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I hope he's okay. I love Will Smith. I mm-hmm. always enjoyed his movies. The one time I met him, he did scare the shit out of me. I was writing the MTV Awards with Chris Rock, and we were mm-hmm. standing at the stage. This is when he was doing Ali, and he goes— you know, hey, Jeff Ross, he just sort of recognized me, is it, you know, and he starts coming at me like Ali, boom, 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 throwing punches. And I was like scared shitless. I was mm-hmm. like, this guy's like really got the character down. So he is, he is an icon and it, it's sad to see someone's career plummet like that. I mean, his, you know, who am I to talk? His worst day is probably my best day in show business, but it really hurt me to see I, I said to my girlfriend that night, and I was like, basically through my emotions, I said, if he gets away with this, I'm done in show business. Right? Who's right. going to stick up for me at, at at a comedy club if this guy's getting away with slapping Chris Rock on the Oscars? And and, and think about it. Like he 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 slapped Chris. He won. He made a speech. He got a standing ovation. He went to the after party. Went dancing, and then they kicked him out of the academy. I know. That's like going to your favorite restaurant for your birthday. They pick up the check. The waitress fucks all your friends and families. You have three desserts. <laughs> then the maitre d's like, sir, we're going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 5 a.m. My dick is wet. We're, I'm leaving. <laughs> I did it. I had the, best the greatest time ever. Denny's I've ever heard of. 